This is DocM with another Minecraft video and today guys I want to talk with you about Camera Studio version 2.2 It's for Minecraft 1.3.2 This is the tool you use to make those cool time lapses and yeah, um, you use to film yourself while you're building In my new Minecraft world tour um, I want to use that feature. I want to do time lapses of myself building and yeah, I quickly want to introduce you to the tool and show you how it's done, at least the basic things so you can get going and yeah, with the new features in Minecraft 1.3 being able to start a LAN world, um, it became very easy now to record different angles and yeah, different point of views. Installing the mod is super simple. Just go to the forum post, I will provide a link in the video description, download it um, somewhere down there, here, it's powered by Adfly, there's additional plugins like you can even directly capture with the tool, I haven't tried that out, I'm sticking with fraps because I'm used to it, but it should work out nicely, heard good things about it, so just download it and locate your Minecraft directory, normally it's at app data roaming, go to bin and open up your Minecraft jar with 7-zip or WinRA or whatever and you'll be able to access the jar file. Just open up your Camera Studio version 2.2, you just download it, it's a zip file and select the mod class here and uh, um, AJN class and the Zushen thing, all three, and drag and drop them into your Minecraft jar folder. Save if you have the meta inf in there as usual when you install mods, make sure to delete that. And that's it. That's that's all you have to do. Just put it in there and the mod should be, mod should be up and running. Well, now we're done with the installing and of course you want to capture yourself, right? So what you need to capture yourself is, of course, another account. I made one, it's just called Doc Camera, and I have a computer set up, it's my laptop, where this account is running from. Of course, I have the camera mod installed on there, of course, I have Fraps installed, so I can capture. So, next step, if you want to capture yourself, start your world. This is a normal single player world, and open it up to LAN, so you can access it with your laptop that of course has to be connected to your home network. So, creative and cheats on I'm gonna use, you can do whatever and now you can see it's a local game hosted with the IP and the port. This is your local area IP or yeah, local network IP, not your internet IP or something so you cannot have friends playing on there if you wanna do that you need the Hamachi thing. So that's a different ball game but for local area networks now that works. So now, simply go to your other computer, log into your account, go to multiplayer, select it. I'm doing it right now on my other computer. And it's a LAN world. And there you go. Doc Camera joined the game. Where is he? There. <laughs> so now, we got a second character in the world. All right. Now, if I wanted to capture Doc M here, of course, I would have to go to the Doc Camera account and do all the steps I will show you now from there. Now we're going to use Doc Camera Guy as our guinea pig, 
um, to help us demonstrate how to run the mod. It's very simple. So let's say Doc Camera Guy would build something and we want to capture that. Well, take your first shot, your first perspective, press P to set a waypoint. Move around, maybe another perspective, maybe from here. And let's set a third waypoint, let's go on top and film down. Maybe he's building something really impressive. All right, you can see it. Point P3 registered and it gives you the coordinates and auto spline is activated. That is important so you have a smooth movement. Well, if you wanted to capture now, you just bring up your uh, chat screen and type cam start. That will start the camera, but you have to give it a time for how long you want to, yeah, I don't know, do the, the, the nice um, camera movement. Let's say 30 seconds or 15 seconds. So type that in. You can use whatever time amount you want. Make sure to use seconds and hit return and the camera starts. Starting at our point one, nicely moving around. No shakiness, no lag, goes up and finally reaches the end position. Bam! And then you get a message, traveling ended. And yeah, you would capture that and have a nice perspective for your build. And that's how you do it. Really simple. In the end, if you're done with your scene, make sure to hit um, camera clear. Oops, seller. <laughs> clear. That gets rid of all the waypoints you set because yeah, if you want to set up a new scene, it would always start at point one, so you would go back to your old scene. So make sure to delete that, and that's how you do it. Some small tips I want to give you in the end. If you bring up the options menu and go to cam command, you have send chat messages and periodic messages and overlay time left. Um, I suggest you disable that, switch it off by just yeah, clicking on it on screen. And then you won't have those messages like saying traveling ended and those things and won't disturb your recording. And of course, Pressing F1 is very helpful if you want to record time lapses so you don't have your, your menu down there. So, that's basically it. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, make sure to share it. Make sure to give it a like if you liked it. <laughs> hope to see some of your time lapses soon. I will use that for sure in my new single player Let's Play, the Minecraft World Tour. Looking forward to that. I'm out. Bye bye.